Hello everyone again. In this lesson, we will study 2A. Here the title is What's Important? Okay, what's important? And the first exercise here, we have vocabulary adjectives number one. Vocabulary adjectives number one. Okay, so here we have some adjectives. Read the adjectives and tick the word you understand this is number one read new old good bad cheap expensive beautiful ugly easy difficult nice great important favorite big small early late fast slow young old right wrong okay after you finish we can go to uh, page 130 vocabulary 2.1 there is an exercise we do so here this exercise what we do here we match these words with the pictures for example new old what is new old here new old new old new old ah, so we have here the cars so old car new car okay match them stop the video do the exercise after that check okay here's the answer okay this is the answer okay let's go to page 16 and let's talk about these words okay so be careful with spelling let's put it here okay so let's for example new old good bad cheap okay be careful with cheap ch okay expensive beautiful usually this is uh, difficult for the students they write e a u okay e a u beautiful don't write u e a okay this is e a u and here we don't say yo we say ah oh, ah oh, ugly ugly easy we don't say e -s -s -z, easy difficult big small and we always have a l together we say oh small early late fast fast ah uh, slow young and here we have o u again we don't say young ya ya young 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 and old right g h usually we don't pronounce we say right wrong and w we don't say we say wrong 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 okay so nice great and here we say a not greet no greet no great great and here important important and here of course we have a so we don't say important no tent tent here fave and all you we don't say favorite 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 okay be careful with all you okay let's read them together new old good bad cheap expensive beautiful ugly easy difficult big small early late fast slow young old right wrong nice great important favorite okay so you can repeat uh, the video again and listen and practice
Okay, now let's go to the next exercise, which is about adjectives. Okay, adjectives, rules, adjectives, rules. How do we write the adjective in the sentence? How do we write the adjective in the sentence? Here we have four rules. Okay, this is rule number one. Okay, so for example, here we have rule number one. This is a sentence number one with rule number one okay and we have sentence number two rule number two sentence number three rule number three four four for example we say here she is late okay is late we put adjectives before or after the verb to be so you read the sentences okay after that choose before and after before and after before and after are or aren't when you finish you go you go here to page 132.2 132.2 okay so this is here the explain okay after you finish we go back to page 16 and now let's explain this rule together okay so adjectives what's the grammar for the adjectives or what are the adjectives the adjectives we said we said cheap expensive old new small big fast slow tall short beautiful ugly all of these adjectives and when we write the adjective in the sentence we have four rules okay rule number one <clears throat> she is late she is late is verb to be late the adjective okay and here we have verb to be number one adjective number two so verb to be number one adjective is number two okay so here we have verb to be before adjectives always verb to be before the adjective okay rule number two rule number two it's a bag it's a bag okay so now i have this adjective i want to write it in the sentence okay so where do i write it i have bag here and i write small before bag so small is the adjective bag is the noun the first thing i write the adjective number two the noun so what's the rule noun after adjective noun after adjective noun is number two adjective is number one okay so let's go to rule number three it's a very difficult question it's a very difficult question okay so here i have very and then i have difficult okay is the adjective so very okay so we have here very is number one adjective is number two so what's the rule here very before adjective very before adjective number one you write very number two you write the adjective rule number four these are my new shoes these are my new shoes okay so here we have the ad the uh, the adjective plural adjective and plural noun i have plural noun here what about the adjective can i write plural adjective no i we don't write plural adjective okay so we have here the adjective are not plural so adjectives are not plural 
I don't write news, shoes, no. Always in English, adjectives are not plural, okay? And uh, this is the, um, the, these are the rules. Rule number one, again, there to be before adjective. Rule number two, noun after adjective. Rule number three, very before adjective. And rule number four, adjectives are not plural. plural. Okay, so here we will have some examples. Okay, here make these sentences, uh, make sentences with these words. Of course, this exercise from a uh, face-to-face elementary second edition book, uh, lesson 2a, exercise 2, page 16, okay? So you can stop the video now, do the exercise, after that you check, okay? So after you finish, we check together. First of all, number one, we, we always start um, a sentence with a subject, which is it. After the subject, we always have verb to be, okay? If you can see here, we say she is, it is, it is, these are. So we have it is, it's. It's early, okay? We have early and very. Rule number three, very before adjective. So very, after that, early. Now, number two. Okay, the, uh, where is the subject here? The subject that, and we, we have the capital letter because the, the sentence starts always with a capital letter. So we say that. After the subject, we need verb to be. Where is the verb to be? Is. After is. Now, we have answer, write, the. Okay, so where is the noun? Answer. Okay, let's look at the noun. Noun, rule number two. Noun after adjective. Ah, so adjective is number one. Okay, so we have right. Okay, and answer. Right answer. And the comes before the adjective because the right answer. The is for, for answer. Same, that's the answer. But because we have adjective, so adjective always come before. Okay, always comes before. Uh, the noun number three very are those dresses expensive okay for example we say those subject are uh -huh, dresses expensive very so we have num we have expensive adjective dresses noun so rule number two noun after the adjective so the adjective is before we say expensive and dresses Okay, what about very? Very comes before the adjective. Rule number three. Those are very expensive dresses. Okay, now, number four. The subject, it. Verb to be, is. Okay. It is, uh, we have cheap a uh, watch. A cheap watch. A uh, cheap watch. Okay. Number five, where is the subject? They, verb to be, are. And again, we have camera, okay? Before nouns, we have the adjective before the noun and very before the adjective. Now, number six, okay? We have the, adject, uh, the subject, verb to be, is, okay? Verb to be, is, that is, then, a. Uh, very difficult question. Okay, so this is the exercise and these are the four rules for adjectives. Okay guys, so let's move to exercise uh, number four. Okay, in exercise number four, we will talk about um, this photo here. Here we have this boy and this woman, okay? This boy's name is Alan, and this woman is Mary, okay? So, look at the photo here. What can we see on the photo? Mm, we have a TV, computer, keyboard, mobile, a guitar, 
a photo of a car mm, remote control okay and this is maybe bed okay in this photo we have an army chair a cat a photo some flowers um some albums okay coffee table yes so what we do here okay alan talks about what's important in his life what are things what things are important in my life alan says so what we do here for example let's take the uh, color here okay so for example what are things are important in my life well i've got an old car so old car important okay it's very fast but i love it what else well my mobile so mobile okay so now we will listen to alan speaks and mary speaks okay listen to them and underline everything important for them okay let's go to the recording track 33 what things are important in my life well i've got an old car it isn't very fast but i love it what else well, my mobile's very important to me. It's got all my friends' phone numbers on it. My photos, music, everything. I haven't got a laptop, but I've got an old computer. That's important to me for school. And I've got a big TV in my room. That's very important because I love football. What's important to me? I've got this very expensive watch. It's from Ben, my husband, and I love it. And my diary, that's important to me too. Ben hasn't got a diary. He's got everything on his mobile these days. And my new bicycle is important to me because we haven't got a car. What else? Well, we've got a beautiful cat, Lily. She's very important. Okay, guys, so now let's check together. Okay, as we said here, old car, okay, and my mobile, and let's everything. I've got uh, uh, no laptop, mm, computer, old computer, and big TV. Okay, TV. Okay, for Mary, um, expensive watch and diary. Okay, hasn't got diary, so no diary for the husband. Bicycle. No car and cat okay so these this, the things that are important for them okay so now let's move to uh, the next one okay which is grammar about have got positive and negative okay so here we have um, this grammar we say have got and in have got we have the contraction okay have got and has got contraction haven't got negative and hasn't got negative okay so here in exercise b fill in the gaps okay fill in the gaps with contraction have contraction has or haven't or hasn't okay so read this fill in the gaps after you finish you go to page uh, 131 to uh, grammar 2.1 let's go there okay and here it is okay you can read this mm, 
now let's go okay and let's explain this together let's go to the grammar board okay guys so uh, here we will study have got grammar have got and has got okay for example i have got a car and she has got a mobile now of course here i have got a car she has got a mobile and the subject pronouns for example how we write this sentence the subject pronouns in english i they we you he she it okay so after i they we you we write have got okay so we say have got and i have got a car they have got a car we have got a car you have got a car he she it we say has got he has got a car she has got a car it has got okay of course maybe a car but this is an example okay so here contraction subject pronouns again i they we you he she it here i have got contraction i've they have they've we've you've he's she's it's okay and got so we say i've got they've got we've got you've got he's got she's got it's got examples i have got a camera contraction i've got a camera he has got a laptop example he's got a laptop okay now we'll study the negative okay. haven't got hasn't got for example i have got a car i haven't got a car she has got a mobile she hasn't got a mobile and how we write it subject i they we you he she it okay how we write it here we say i haven't got a car they haven't we haven't you haven't got a car he she it hasn't got a car he hasn't got a car she hasn't got a car okay okay so here are some um, examples about the plural negative for example we start the the sentence with the subject okay then haven't or hasn't got after that plural but very important very important very important before plural negative we write any okay we write any so here for example the subject is i okay so after that i haven't got okay i haven't got cats but because it's a plural so we write i haven't got any cats i haven't got any cats with singular it's okay here you say she has got a mobile i have got a car okay no change by here in the adjective when when we have uh, plural negative we write any okay guys okay let's move to exercise number eight sorry exercise number six listen and practice copy the stress and contractions i've his etc for example here, here we say i have got an old car 
you put stress, you say, I've got an old car. This is means stress, okay? So you listen and copy the stress, okay? These are the sentences, listen. Track 34. I've got an old car. You've got a new mobile. He's got a big TV. She's got a new bicycle. We've got a beautiful cat. They've got an old DVD player. I haven't got a laptop. We haven't got a car. He hasn't got a diary. Okay, guys, so this is good practice for stress. You repeat the recording many times and try to copy the stress, okay? And you always say, for example, I've got an old car. I've got an old car. Got old car strong, okay? I've an, no, weak, okay? Now let's move to exercise number seven. Okay. In exercise number seven. So in exercise number seven, fill in the gaps with the correct form of have got. Correct form. What's correct form have got? Okay. That means we have, for example, we say have got, haven't got or has got hasn't got this is the correct form okay so i here positive with i we say have got so we say i've got contraction i've got a new camera she what do we write here she we we have has got or hasn't got here is negative so we write hasn't got very good okay now stop the video for a minute do the exercise after that continue with me okay number three you you've got positive we haven't got negative five i haven't got six he's got hasn't got seven have got and eight haven't got okay okay so uh, now in exercise number eight think of a friend and write five things he or she has got or hasn't got okay for example I have here um, my friend Let's see. Okay, so for example, my friend uh, my friend Salim. Okay. So I say He has got three children, okay? He has got three children, but I want to write it in a professional way. So I write it, he's got, okay? Contraction, he's got. And for example, he hasn't. got a car okay so it's the same write some sentences he's got three children he hasn't got a car okay 
so you can write it write these sentences in the comment down and i will check if there is any mistake i will correct it okay now let's move to the next exercise and look at this photo okay so in this photo here we have if you remember alan and mary uh, yes mary is alan's grandmother and they are in a media market as you can see here we have laptops maybe um, some cables and things for mobiles okay so this woman ask, uh, asks Alan and Mary about things they have got, uh, they haven't got, okay? And here, I want to uh, do this, this exercise here. What we do, first of all, here we have the product, laptop, camera, an uh, MP3 player, radio, and DVD player. Here we have Alan and Mary. First of all, we want to guess. Okay, guess. Guess means I don't know the answer, but I think this is the answer. I'm not sure. For example, I come here, I say, um, Alan, laptop. Mm, he hasn't got a laptop. What about camera? Ah, yes, he has got a camera. MP3 player, I think he has. I uh, got radio mm, because he is young, so I don't think he has got a radio DVD player maybe yes hmm. okay what about Mary Mary mm, old woman laptop I think no camera uh, sorry I think no here camera no mp3 player no radio mm, yes DVD player mm, maybe yes okay so now this is our guess we don't know maybe yes maybe no now we want to listen to uh, mary alan and the woman asks them questions and you listen and answer now here okay put the correct answer listen and put the correct answer here okay let's bring the listening first Track 35. Right, it's here. Okay. So now listen and write the correct answer here and here. Track 35. Hello. Have you got time to answer some questions? It's a product survey about computers, cameras, TVs, that sort of thing. Yes, OK. Sure. Oh, good. Thanks. Right, first question. Have you got a laptop? No, I haven't. But I've got an old computer. And you, madam, have you got a laptop? Yes, I have. But it's not very good. Thanks. Right, next question. Have you got a camera? Yes, I have. And what about you, sir? Have you got a camera? No, I haven't. I take photos with my mobile. Right. And have you got an MP3 player? Uh, what's an MP3 player? They're for music. They're very small. Oh, those things. No, I haven't got one of those. And you, sir, have you got an MP3 player? Yes, I have. Have you got a radio? No, I haven't. I listen to the radio on my mobile. And you, madam? Yes, I have. Thanks. Right, the last question. Have you got a DVD player? Yes, I have. I watch a lot of DVDs. And you, madam, have you got a DVD player? Yes, I have, but it's very old. Right. Well, madam, we've got some very good DVD players at the moment. Okay, so now you can repeat the recording again and write the answer. Okay, now let's check together. Mm. 
So this is the answer. Mm. Okay, so laptop. He hasn't got a laptop. Mary has got a laptop. Mm. Okay, so this is the answer. Okay, guys, so now let's move to um, exercise number 10, which is about have got and has got again, but now questions and short answers, okay? So now again, we, uh, we will read, okay, and fill in the gaps with have, has, haven't, or hasn't, okay? Fill in the gaps. After you finish, we go to page 131, Grammar 2.2, Grammar 2.2, this one, okay, read about it, okay, then we'll move again to the page, then we'll go to the Grammar board. Okay, so now the questions with have got, has got. Okay, so in the questions, we have yes, no question and WH question, okay? And with yes, no question, we have short answers. For example, let's have the first sentence. I've got a bike. I've got a bike. So what's the question here? Have you got a bike? Have you got a bike? We just move subject and have. Subject and have. Here because I ask you, uh, for example, I say I have got and you ask me, say have you got? Here we say the answer, yes I have. Okay, yes I've, contraction with yes, wrong. Okay, no, I haven't. What about no contraction? Okay, here we say or we say no, I have not. Mm. So this is wrong and this is wrong. We said before, always, yes, no contraction. Any uh, yes, no question. The answer, the short answer, yes, always, no contraction, and uh, no, always contraction. But in this way, no. We say, no, I haven't. No, I have not. No, it's not correct. Okay, so she has got a book. The question, has she got a book? So we change has and change she and got a book the same the answer yes she has no she hasn't okay now and it's the same for all the subjects okay now let's move to wh question wh question for example we start with wh word what why how where all of them after that have or has, then subject, then got, after that the noun, okay. What have you, subject, got in your bag? So here we say, I've got a book, a pencil, and my mobile. Contraction, I've got, here I have got, I've got, okay. and. Be careful because I start question with have or has, the answer yes or no. I start a question with WH, the answer is information. You give me a sentence, information. Okay, so another one, what has he got in his bag? He has got a book, a pencil and a mobile. Okay, and this is the contraction. He's got a book, a pencil, and a mobile. Okay, so as we said, here and 
here one more thing okay let's write it here Okay, when you ask a question, yes, no question, you say, for example, have you got a car? Okay, so this is you ask with have you got a car? And here we use a because it's singular. Okay, what about if I want to ask plural? <clears throat> you can say, have you got for example any books so when you ask about plural you you use any okay this is very important have you got any books and it's the same with all the other subjects okay so uh, 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 have uh, you has he she it everything okay so let's write it here again so okay at, and it's the same for the all subject so for example if I write here I write have okay then I will write the subject I you they and we okay then I come here and they write has mm -hmm. he she and it so here we say have I have you have they have we has she, he has she has it okay and I write here okay write it all of it you write got okay and after got okay after got if you have singular okay what we write singular right a plus singular okay a plus singular if you have any you write any plus plural and this is yes to be like this and mm -hmm. Okay, so have I got a and you write singular now have you got a car have they got a car what about plural have you got any cars have you got any pencils okay and this is all the grammar here that would be everything hmm. Okay. <clears throat> okay, here you listen and practice the questions and short answers in 10A. All these questions and answers, you listen and practice. Track 36. Have you got a camera? 
Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Has he got a DVD player? Yes, he has. No, he hasn't. Have they got any cheap TVs? Yes, they have. No, they haven't. What have you got in your bag? Okay, so um, here, here exercise number 12, this is we check about Alan and Mary, but we already did that, okay. Here in this exercise, uh, 104, 109, here 104 for example, this is pair work. Here we have two students. They work together, okay? And the same thing we uh, did with uh, Alan and Mary, you guess. For example, your friend is Yetzi Ahmed, then you put your guess. I think Ahmed has got a mobile, I think he hasn't got a camera. After that, you ask your partner, have you got a mobile, have you got uh, a camera, and so on. But this is, we do it in the class, or if you, work uh, if you study you and your friend you can watch this you watch this video you can do it together okay this is 104 and the other one okay 109 it's here it's the same exercise Okay, guys, so that's it in the, about this lesson. In this lesson, as we, uh, we see here, let's just take this out. Okay, so in this lesson, we studied adjectives. Okay, we studied adjectives. After that, we moved to the rule of writing adjectives in the sentence here. Then we had exercise about how we make adjectives then we uh, read about alan and mary what's important for everyone then we study the grammar of have got has got positive and negative then we practice the stress after that we studied uh, uh, we uh, we did this exercise then we moved to listening about Alan and Mary then we studied the grammar of uh, have got questions and short answer okay guys so that's everything in this lesson thank you for watching if you have any question you can ask me in the comment and I will answer as soon as possible thank you guys and goodbye